After rising in popularity on Chinese social media, a woman named Zhao Zhao, who is thought to suffer with a form of primordial dwarfism and intellectual disabilities, has recently blown up on TikTok, with videos of her singing, dancing, and having aggressive outbursts being replicated and made into memes. Is Zhao Zhao just voluntarily documenting her life though, or is there something much more sinister going on? Let's investigate. If you enjoy internet mysteries and generally disturbing content, feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications for more content like this. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can become a Ko-fi member or a channel member to gain access to uncut videos and other perks, or you can leave me a tip by clicking the thanks under this video. Thanks to anyone who considers this. As always, with any story that blows up on TikTok, it's almost impossible to make any sense of this situation. You have to sift through tons of obviously fabricated rumours and try to decipher the truth from what's left. If you're watching this video for an unambiguous explanation or a solution to the question of what on earth is going on here, I'm not sure I can give you a solid answer. All I'm able to do is summarise everything I've found and attempt to form a somewhat coherent story based on what I believe to be the most credible information and speculate from there, but I'd absolutely be open to hearing any other interpretations in the comments, especially from anyone who speaks the same language as Zhao Zhao because unfortunately I do not, which has made it even harder to understand what's going on. Chen Zhao Zhao, we'll just call her Zhao, is a Chinese woman or girl. I'm not really sure which to refer to her as because no one actually knows her age for sure. I went into this believing she was 36 years old. That seems to be the age most commonly attributed to her, but then there's also some speculation she's actually 14. She suffers with an unspecified condition that many believe is a form of primordial dwarfism, perhaps Seckel syndrome, which results in a smaller body size through all stages of life. It has alternatively been suggested that she might have microcephaly, a rare condition that causes a baby to be born with a much smaller head than normal. It also affects the size of the rest of the body. In any case, Zhao is much smaller in stature than most 36-year-olds and even 14-year-olds. She also has some kind of intellectual disability, seemingly quite a severe one, which is common with primordial dwarfism and microcephaly. Her face makes her look much closer to the age of 36 than 14, but some conditions can result in the appearance of premature aging, so it's honestly impossible to tell her age just by looking at her. In July 2012, there was an article by the Daily Mail about a three-year-old girl named Liang Zhao Zhao, who, according to the article, was, at the time, the world's tiniest girl, at just 54 centimetres tall and 2.5 kilograms weight. Some believe this girl is Zhao. After all, they share the name Zhao Zhao. They're both from China, both have a condition that results in their bodies being very small, and going off physical appearance, it's plausible that the Zhao we see on TikTok in 2023 could have looked like the photos of this girl 11 years ago. However, the article states that the girl featured was not expected to grow any bigger, and Zhao is definitely taller than 54 centimeters. It doesn't sound like doctors knew the cause of her small size, though. It's only said that they believed a genetic mutation had stopped her getting any bigger, so it's not impossible that they were wrong and she did end up getting bigger. It's also worth noting that I'm not sure it's been confirmed that Zhao's real name is Zhao Zhao, as this name in English translates to small, so it could just be a nickname she was given. I personally don't think Zhao is the girl in the article, and it's likely she is older than 14 now. Anyway, that's most of what is known or speculated about Zhao in terms of personal details. Let's get on to why she blew up on TikTok. 
I don't think she actually has a TikTok account. She only posts on Kwai Xiao or Du Yin, the Chinese version of TikTok, or rather her mother posts clips of her, and many have made their way onto TikTok. It seems her presence online started around 2020, and it didn't take too long for her to begin rapidly gaining followers. Her most popular videos tend to show her lashing out, for example by hitting her mother or someone else, having a tantrum, crying, etc. She is sometimes accompanied by her friend, Wolong, who appears to be younger than Zhao and also suffers with an unknown physical and intellectual disability, though she's much calmer and doesn't really seem to react to Zhao's outbursts. There are some clips of them both, and just Zhao, singing and dancing in front of an audience, usually with Mei Niang Xinzin, a male influencer who dresses in drag for these performances. Zhao's short temper at times is part of the reason she went viral on TikTok, with many relatable style memes being made out of short clips of her outbursts. The attention she receives as a result is mixed, with some supporting her, viewing her as some kind of icon, while others make nasty comments about her, calling her Dobby, a reference to the house elf in Harry Potter, and other names, insulting her physical appearance in general. You can even find videos of people dressing up as Zhao for Halloween, and acting out some of the most viral clips she's known for. Her friend Wolong seems to be generally well-liked, due to her placid demeanour, and you often see comments comparing the two, with users saying they love Wolong, while going as far as to say they hate Xiao. Wolong certainly seems very sweet and endearing, but it's sad to see people bash Xiao. It'd be well-deserved if she was an average 36-year-old woman, but considering her disabilities, I really don't understand how people can be so cruel and heartless towards her. Anyway, in a nutshell, that's why Zhao blew up on TikTok, but some believe there's a lot more to this story, and here's where things get kinda dark. Although Zhao seems to be enjoying herself in some of the videos, particularly when she's singing or dancing, there are probably more videos of her crying, screaming, and generally not looking happy. As I said before, there are countless clips showing her hitting or kicking other people, and while some interpret this as her acting like a spoiled brat, the context of her behaviour could suggest that something more sinister is going on. It's not like Zhao always just randomly starts attacking people, she's quite often provoked first. The only person I haven't seen her lash out at is Wolong, and I wonder if that's because Wolong is the only person who's just kind and gentle with her and doesn't try to provoke her. She has kicked Mei Niang Xinzin, the influencer who performs with her, on a number of occasions, but there is a clip showing him dancing behind her, clearly kicking her first to get a reaction out of her. Others, including her mother and what I assume are other family members or associates, can be seen prodding her, grabbing her arms, threatening her with canes. She doesn't really seem scared of them, and her instant reaction is to go on the attack, which you could argue shows that she isn't being abused in any way. But it's important to remember that she does have an intellectual disability, so would likely react to abuse in a different way to most other people. Her not looking scared and even retaliating doesn't necessarily mean that she is not being treated in a bad way. More worryingly, I've seen videos of Zhao being pushed to the ground, pushed over into a flower bed, her hair getting pulled, her head being yanked up by her hair, one of her being hit on the head, although she does laugh after. They're honestly quite hard to watch. Bruises can sometimes be seen on Zhao's face and body. It's not clear if these are from others hitting or hurting her in some way, or if she sustained injuries when she was attacking someone else or kicking hard objects. Another thing worth mentioning is that there are many videos in which Zhao is being picked up, thrown around like a ragdoll, and even put into plastic bags and carried around, and she usually does not react well to this. When she's put down, she often looks angry or upset and storms off or lashes out, while everyone around her laughs and mocks her. There's even one video where she is tied in a large plastic bag being lifted up and down by a man in a mask that covers his face. I don't know if she consented to this, as she does appear to be happy in one of the clips of her being carried in an open bag, but it's impossible to see her expression through the plastic in this video. If she was forced into the bag, then I'm pretty sure that would be classed as abuse. 
In general, her family are usually laughing when she's lashing out, even when she's hitting people, and I can't help but feel this is reinforcing her behaviour, especially because they know it gets them views. There's a video where Zhao is with a little girl and she starts hitting her. Not aggressively, it seems to be meant in an affectionate way. And the girl is laughing, but her mother seems to be egging her on. And I'm not sure it's wise to encourage such behaviour towards children, knowing that Zhao often gets more violent than this. In another, more concerning clip, a man is sat next to a fire outside, holding a baby. Zhao hits him, catching the baby in the process, and snatches the baby's hat off their head aggressively before throwing it into the fire. Again, Zhao's mother and everyone else is laughing. There's no attempt to try and calm her down or to discourage her actions. Hopefully the baby is okay, but they easily could have been harmed in that interaction. Overall, Zhao's family don't seem to be a very good influence on her. It's to be expected that someone with intellectual disabilities may act differently and not as well behaved as others, and I'm sure it can be very difficult for parents to manage such behaviour, but Zhao's parents don't even seem to try. Furthermore, Zhao can be seen smoking in a couple of different clips. Ultimately, if she is a 36-year-old woman, she is old enough to smoke, and I don't know to what extent her intellectual disabilities affect her ability to make informed decisions about such risky habits, but I can't help but think it's irresponsible for her parents just to stand back, not just allowing her to do that, but filming her. It worries me that they might have encouraged her to do that in the first place. I'm not making any accusations here, but I think I've seen enough clips of Zhao being treated in a harmful, disrespectful and inhumane way to say that I personally think she's in an abusive situation. I think it would also be fair to say that she is being exploited. Although she actively participates in some of the videos and looks like she enjoys performing with Mai Niang Zinzin, there are so many clips of her crying and having a tantrum where she obviously doesn't like being filmed. I don't speak Chinese, but according to some TikTok users who do, she often tells the person behind the camera, presumably her mother, to stop filming her, and that she doesn't want to be in the videos, yet still, they continue. Considering the bullying and discrimination Zhao has faced online, it'd be questionable to continue posting videos of her anywhere, even more so if she literally does not want to be in them. I don't really know how monetization works on Chinese social media, but I assume the family are benefiting financially from Zhao, considering she is somewhat of an influencer at this point, so I guess if her well-being isn't their main priority, there isn't really any reason for them to stop posting her. I also question Mei Niang's motives for including Zhao and Wolong in his videos. It could be as innocent as he took a liking to them and saw they were becoming popular online, and thought it would boost his own popularity to collaborate with them, or he could be ridiculing them, it's hard to say. While progress has been made over the years, disabled people in China are still stigmatised. It seems they face more discrimination and ill-treatment than in England or America, for example, and even in these countries, things aren't perfect for people with disabilities, so imagine how much worse it is for people like Zhao and Wolong. Many of the people mocking Zhao on TikTok, calling her the Chinese Dobby, are from English-speaking countries anyway, and there are a few racist comments sprinkled in there too. She seems to experience more contempt than positivity, and Mei Niang obviously knows this, so I can't help but think him collaborating with her is a way for him to benefit from her disabilities, and from her being bullied online, while opening her up to even more bullying. There are no signs he's trying to inspire empathy for her, or trying to improve her reputation. He knows some have taken a disliking to her because of her outbursts, and so he just continues to provoke her into them. It just seems that he and Zhao's family are parading her around for their own benefit, without caring what she wants and what the effect will be on her. There has been some speculation that Zhao is playing a character and doesn't actually act the way she does in videos in real life, and that the clips of her being hit or pushed over are staged. She clearly has a disability, that can't be faked, but some believe that her aggressive outbursts are played up for the camera, and that's why her family don't react in a way you'd expect them to. 
This is a possibility and would be a much better scenario than her parents just filming her at emotional times without her consent, but I'm still not sure I'd feel totally comfortable with it. This does depend to what extent her intellectual disability affects her though. I don't know her personally and I'm not a doctor either, so it's impossible for me to say whether she's fully able to understand the ramifications of having an online presence enough for her to make these decisions herself, without just being coerced into it by others. Overall, there are still many unanswered questions surrounding this situation. The facts are clouded with baseless rumours and wild speculation, but I think people are right to be concerned for Zhao. There are some really disturbing clips of her being straight up assaulted, and she's a disabled woman. It's kind of irrelevant that she retaliates and hits back when she's being assaulted by people who are supposed to be her caregivers, people who are not suffering with disabilities themselves and who are much bigger and stronger than her. As for the way others are treating her online, it's honestly abhorrent. You'd think we were back in the 1800s when freak shows existed and it's shocking to see such a lack of empathy and downright callousness towards another human being. I just sincerely hope Xiao either isn't aware of or at least isn't too affected by all of the online hurt. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and theories in the comments, plus any suggestions you might have for a future video. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Huge thank you to my Kofi members and channel members whose names are on screen now. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week in a new video.